Hi guys, my name is Pranav Sinesh. So today we are going to be looking into the China-India border tension. So as you guys know, the tension between China and India have increased and the troops built on either side have increased alarmingly. So the, the both countries have attacked and have seen life loss and the number of deaths in the Indian side has been revealed as 20 soldiers and the Chinese side have not officially announced the total number of deaths. So basically what we are going to be seeing in this video is about the India border, India China border tension and the countries which are supporting China and India uh, and uh, you will be shocked when I say that and uh, then we are going to be seeing about the first uh, Indian uh, Sino-Indian war, Sino-Indo Indo war. It's only a small thing, it's the, like the main thing so we are going to be seeing about that also. But before going into that, if you are new here, please go and subscribe to this channel and turn on the post notifications so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Done? Super. Now let's go to the topic. But before going, to the to uh, going into the topic, I want to say this one fact that <coughs> it's a small note that India shares its border with China at the places of Ladakh and the Himalayan regions, Sikkim and Arunachal Pradesh. So now the first thing is that let's see the main thing that was uh, ha that happened during the first Sino-Indian War. It was a war between China and India uh, that occurred in 1962. A Chinese disputed Indian Himalayan region or Himalayan border was the main reason for the main cause for this uh, war. There have been a series of violent border skirmishes between the two countries after the 1959 Tibetan uprising when India granted asylum when India granted asylum to the Dalai Lama. During the war, the casualties and losses in the Chinese side were approx approximately 5,000 plus people were killed or wounded and 3,968 were captured. And in the Indian side, there are 1,383 1, killed, 1,696 missing and from between 548 to 1,047 were wounded and 3,968 were captured. In this war, the China had captured the Akshay Chin, claiming it was a part of the Tibet. So Tibet is a country which was a country, it was ca it is now captured by China and till now China forcefully occupies Tibet. Now now let's see about the Galvan Valley, Galvan Valley or the place where the incident first started. Before starting, I would like to I would like to say that the Galvan Valley was is not captured by the Chinese as per the official reports in the from the Indian side. So the country India or China, uh, neither India or China have announced about seizing any land of either country. However, both uh, countries claim that the violent clashes were due to the intrusion beyond the LAC. LAC stands for Line of Actual Control. Initial build of Chinese forces were not noticed by India. When I mean the initial force, uh, like when I mean the things which are built by Chinese forces were like setting up camps, camps beyond the LAC, like uh, into the Indian territory. So the Indian troops were only alerted after when the Chinese, uh, when the Chinese forces were much closer to the LAC. So then the triad Indian troops have started approaching towards the border or the LAC, you can call either of them and for pushing back the Chinese forces back into the country. But a few days ago, the Chinese forces have again entered the LAC in the Indian territory and set up the camps at the same place. The Indian army came to know that the Chinese forces have been building infrastructure like roads and other fortifications very close to the LAC, which is the line of actual control. But soon after, Indian side had also started building up infra uh, roads and infrastructure like uh infrastructure when i mean infrastructure it means i mean the, about the roads bridges and other fortifications the sudden aggression by the chinese forces is, was due to the intense uh, developments of projects by bro or bro which stands for border roads organization of india since 2014 india has opened multiple strategic uh, infrastructures or important bridges roads and other fortifications which could act as an advantage for India at the time of all out war. For details of these infrastructures and stuff like that, you can go to the Google and you can go to Google and browse about the stuff and you'll get many things uh, related to it. Now let's see about the clashes. The rounds of talks held between both the countries and a common agreement was signed. This uh, this according to agreement the, the, the troops the countries had to uh, withdraw the troops away from the previous force at least for two kilometers away from the LAC. 
so the chinese had withdrawn their troops uh, as per the agreed terms but uh, during the night the chinese forces have entered the indian territory and have at started attack and has started unwarranted attack on the indian of forces during the middle of the night they have uh, entered with the spike rods and other uh, iron rods and sticks like that and they have started attacking the indian uh, forces the clash continues till july 15 you might be wondering why i'm saying till july 15 is because after the incident on june 15 daily uh, small small fights have been happen- happening at the border so that's why i'm saying it will continue till july 15 so both sides were severely clashed there have been tens of fatalities on both the sides and india had announced that at least 20 soldiers were killed on their side however in the chinese side uh, in the chinese government global times have revealed that 40 plus soldiers were killed and uh, then the they denied the now total number of deaths and the same global the times said that a few fewer deaths were uh, uh, reported on the chinese side and they didn't say the total number just because they didn't wanted to uh, they didn't want the war sentiments to grow inside the people now they claim that the total number of deaths on the chinese side are lesser than that of india but the military analysts and the intelligence organization around the world had noted that the chinese were badly affected and they refused to affect the uh, accept the claim so now let's see about the change of the galwan river flow so if you know galwan river is in the indian uh, was in the china side and they have changed the flow into the indian side the china had shifted the course of the galwan river flow this is because many indian boundaries are marked by rivers and mountains like natural blocks like rivers and mountains so china had adjusted the river flow towards indian side so that they could claim the land till one side of the river so <clears throat> the china had shifted the course of river inverse the indian side and now as per agreed terms china still claims the land till one side of the river this so this proves that the chinese have multi- manipulated the flow of river to claim more land i'm going to be showing you the countries which are supporting so it's a common question which comes to your mind uh, during uh, two nuclear power countries two biggest army countries of uh, are in a border tension at uh, involving a border tension on top of this corona situation so the question is will usa or russia help usa has their own problems like the george floyd case the protests going over all over the usa uh, but the usa counterparts have spoken to china and indian counterparts to maintain peace at the border and then russia has spoken to chinese and uh, indian forces to show restraint and maintain peace at the border the uh, glorious russia and indian uh, relationship is known uh, over all over the world and <clears throat> russia will stand against any country for india but if its communist friend china is involved in a war with india then russia will only support china it is known that russia had uh, been neutral during the 1962 clash and there are claims that russia supported china with supplies so russia wants this uh, crisis to be a bilateral bilateral one and it keeps benefited with money as both sides purchase its weapon for example last week india had uh, ordered 30 plus new fighter jets from russia so russia supports china it's because it needs china for uh, getting into us or something is there in a report in wikipedia i can go and check so russia needs china and uh, china have grown more th- powerful than russia Uh, before russia was powerful than china uh, by buying more stuff from russia china had become more far uh, stronger than russia but since many boundaries are originally mountains and rivers the world knows that any country is unmatched to the skill of the indian mountain forces china has always had a weaker ground when it comes to mountain clashes as the indian side is stationed at the higher point uh, of mountain than the chinese there are still ongoing tensions and all uh, and military build up on both sides and only time will tell where peace understanding will come or it will lead to an all out war so that's it guys for this video thanks for watching this video and this video ends here and there'll be a part 2 about uh, this topic because this is very lengthy and it's a ongoing situation right now during the covid-19 situation also <clears throat> and uh, just be stay tuned for the next video so it might uh, lead to second uh, video and third video also probably might come because it's just so of uh, like so big
and uh, if you want to check out new uh, updates about coronavirus uh, cases or uh, the daily uh, active cases total cases just go to this website and you can go and check uh, the coronavirus uh, updates so thanks guys for watching this video jai hind peace